today what we have discussed until now. I'm summarizing the points what we have discussed in the general ledger accounting. Summarizing the general ledger accounting. Then what we have discussed, we have discussed about the organization structure. Organization structure of finance. Then we have discussed about because there are few other things already discussed like a client. OK, so all those things are does not require. OK, just for your information, the important topics only which I am going to. Which I am going to key here. Organization structure of the finance. We have discussed the important things which are relevant for your interview perspective only. Only I am recording those points only. I am describing. Okay. Other than those points, okay, because we have discussed many things, but I am not going to okay describing here all those things here. Organization structure of finance, then company about a company about a company about a company code or codes okay then we have discussed also the currency difference between okay i'll put it like this what is local and proof currency we have discussed right okay what is mean by local currency what is mean by group currency we have discussed remember okay then how the group currency will be will okay for our for our legal entity what is the group currency if you display any, any line item here if you remember display the currency because this is the currency what it has been posted in Singapore dollars. Now let me display the currency here. Now you can see local currency is the same group currency. See now group currency is a Indian rupees. OK for our company code the group for our legal entity. The group currency is a Indian rupees. Remember OK. What is the concept of group currency and how many currencies mapping? Currencies mapping or okay. currencies mapping for company code, currencies mapping for Okay, I'll put it each company code. Okay, so how many currencies if you want then? Currencies mapping. Okay, currencies mapping like it's a local currency already we have mapped. Okay, I'm just reminding once again, just go to the transaction code OB22. Just pick that company code. Now you can come back and see here. See now this is my local currency. This is my group currency. OK, I have mapped the additional local currencies for company code. Additional. Currencies mapping for. Company code, how we need to map the additional currencies and also just for your information. The currencies mapping in ECC 6, we can able to map only the three currencies. But whereas in S4 HANA, there is a feasibility. We can map up to the 10 currencies. OK, but we will discuss when we will be there into the S4 HANA sessions. Uh, OK, in detail. Then the next one, what we have discussed. Posting. Period. Variant. OK, under this posting period variant, what we have discussed. Remember. Shortened physical year. Shortened physical year we have discussed. 
then calendar then calendar year calendar year for which physical year we need to maintain the periods okay we have already discussed okay then then physical year related we have already discussed okay physical year how we need to set up the physical year and if the periods are different than the calendar year how we need to set up the physical year then <clears throat> year shifting functionality year shifting year shifting function because if the periods are differ okay the calendar year in india we are following the financial year from april to march okay in such situation what we need to do we must have to maintain the year shifting functionality okay over there then shortened physical year we have discussed then at the same time we have also discussed about what is year dependent and year independent what is what is the difference between year dependent and year independent we have discussed then the next one what we have discussed open and closed posting periods the open and closed posting periods then what we have discussed types of account how to control how to control multiple account types okay so multiple account types in the sense that there are gl vendor customer material related there are different account types are there okay so then then how you are going to control multiple account types for open and closed periods this is the business decision okay and how which we for which account type need the periods to be open and for which account types the periods should be closed during the month end that is the business decision then the next one is that the very important thing is chart of accounts okay under the chart of accounts what we have discussed three types of chart of accounts are there chart of accounts i'll put it here three types of three types of three types of chart of accounts number one is a operational chart of accounts chart of accounts and usage also and purpose chart of accounts purpose and and which one is which one is a mandatory we have discussed in detail okay operational chart of accounts then group chart of accounts then the next one would be a up country specific chart of accounts country country specific chart of accounts then the next one the next topic about what we have discussed is a retained earnings account retained earnings account is a reserves and surplus related this is what, what what we have discussed whether you would like to have a multiple okay here also we have discussed if we will have a if we will have single single retail earnings and multiple okay okay single or multiple retail earnings account related
single retain earnings account and multiple retain earnings account. The advantages and disadvantages also we have discussed over there. Then document types and num okay document types and what what are the controls what are the controls are there at document level at document types level okay so what it what exactly it will control then the next one is that number ranges number ranges for for document types then here we have discussed about the internal and external number ranges internal and external number ranges what is the difference between both and which one is okay uh, how system is going to pick up okay if it is an internal and if it is an external how we need to key that number range how we need to key the number at the time of document posting okay so then these are the minimum things what we have discussed then apart from this what we have seen then the next one is that the important thing is that how to how to create or generate how to create a transport request transport request and how to release it okay now in this we have discussed about types of transport requests trans types of transport requests okay so now when the system will generate the workbench request when the system will generate a customization request we have already discussed in detail okay so now apart from that what we have discussed the next one is that how to create the gl accounts okay or how many levels we can create we can create the gl accounts i have already explained in detail one is a chart of accounts level the initial level would be a chart of chart of accounts level then the second one is a company code level company code level then the last one is a central level level chart of accounts level company level company code level then this is the central level this is the central level okay how to create this also okay during the uh, uh, during the uh, migration time or during the implementation project which process we need to follow i have explained in detail okay then okay, then the ne next one is that if we talk about the next one is it how to post how to post GL document, GL document, and a difference between difference between F dash zero to FB fifty. We have already discussed clearly. Okay. Then the next one is that how to how to clear the GL line item. GL document. 
okay by using f-07 is the transaction port to clear then the next one is that what we have discussed hold document hold and put it here hold document this hold document and all they may not ask you during the interview okay right let me put it because that was sometimes they may ask okay hold document sample document and park document we have discussed all these document types i mean different documents then month end the very important one is that month end activities month end accrual accrual deferral then the operator management accrual deferral and open items open items clearing okay now just refer it okay what is the open item clearing and there are three three ways are there in order to reverse the documents then the next one what we have discussed month and accrual then types of reversal types of reversal then okay, sorry types of document reversal types of document reversal here is the individual document reversal individual individual mass and reversal of reversal reversal of reversal documents okay these are the different functionalities are there okay just we have discussed in detail about all these things so you can refer it back okay then now coming to the important thing interview prospective for your interview prospective then what you need to do whatever the things we have i have described here all these things are important for your interview from the gl perspective from the gl accounting because we doesn't know from where the question the interviewer will ask okay so so that is the reason you just throw all these 